Hi, uh, hi all, uh, welcome to Sri Solar Life. I hope you have seen the videos related to the solar panel design and other technologies which is published on our YouTube channel. I hope you, you have got some information uh, about the solar panel, how uh, the system is supposed to be designed and how the performance would be. Uh, we want you to be clear, uh, the solar panel is the performance purely based upon the location where you are going to put the panel, you know, it's purely based upon the latitude and longitude and a lot of weather conditions as well as the panel specifications and you have to see the entire system, so how the um, uh, protection levels, what kind of protection levels you have considered on the systems. Yeah, and today we are going to talk about uh, the solar panel designs for one particular location. So it's uh, one of the famous places in India, it's one of the tourism spot. Uh, it's a uh, state of, uh, it's uh, Meghalaya, that's the state uh, of India. Uh, the exact location will be uh, Silong. And, uh, could say the exact location will be the NAT, it's a National Institute of Technology. That's the exact location what we have considered uh, the solar panel sizing. So that's what going to be sit only for that particular location. If you're shifting or uh, the same kind of design to somewhere else or far from the city, far from these locations, there will be impact on the solar panel readings. So um, uh, it's, it's that uh, that's the exact location. It's the National Institute of Technology, Mahalia. Uh, it's near to the Ceylon College. That's the near to the uh, Nazareth Hospital and then uh, Women's College Long. That's the that's the exact locations you could see. So we have uh, taken that locations as a uh, one of the locations. We have uh, considered some particular loads and then we are sizing the panel for that locations. Yeah. Uh, we could say the latitude and longitude would be 25.5739 and uh, 91.8949. That is the exact locations uh, of the panels what we are going to discuss on this video. Uh, so uh, here we have considered the grade 1 panel um, and polycrystalline. So if you have more budgets probably you can go ahead with the uh, monocrystalline. Um, uh, polycrystalline will be the budget is you know moreover the people will prefer to go with that yeah and uh, you know what are the systems we are not uh, we are saying on this video we are not uh, talking about the tracking system or the uh, any other stuff uh, we have considered the basic controllers for the solar panels yeah basic controller which you are using for the solar panel and um, it can give the, the readings yeah that's what we are trying to explain here yeah if you are planning for the tracking kind of uh, hardware or kit or device you can improve the efficiency yeah so that's how it is it's purely again it's, a, it's purely based upon your budget yeah and um, now we'll see what uh, kind of load uh, we have considered here so before going to that point uh, we want to tell you that what we do is uh, uh, we uh, just saying that uh, the Installing the solar panel is just uh, not a matter of uh, kilowatt and kV and so on so or it's not a plug and play job Basically, you have to look into the weather exact location. The first point it will be the locations and then you have to see the weather conditions oh, What we do is we used to see the weather conditions the, we used to collect the historic data for the particular locations and the third point will be the specification of the panel and the fourth point would be the entire systems type of uh, sub-circuits, components, what you are considering on the systems to uh, increase the efficiency, how to be uh, put your effort at the beginning stage. And that fourth point could be the uh, cabling or other stuff or accessories unrelated to the batteries. If you are planning for the autonomy, it could be a day, that is the autonomy meaning in the sense it's a backup. It could be a day or two or maximum five or it's purely based upon your requirements. Yeah. So uh, these all uh, um, many things uh, you have to see that uh, before selecting the solar panel. Otherwise, uh, you'll be uh, spending uh, more uh, things on the later stage. Uh, you could say is it's kind of a maintenance cost. Uh, uh, if you are more strict on the beginning stage, you may going to spend on the lot of things on the maintenance point of view. So basically, the system could be designed for the two year, five, ten, twenty. It's purely based upon how you are planning and what exactly you are required. Yeah, um, so that's what we are trying to explain here. We want you to be understand the system is supposed to be uh, designed so by considering all these uh, points, you know. Uh, yeah, that's what we are trying to explain here. Uh, here, uh, we could say like what load we have considered here. 
Uh, we have considered 25 watts load, 4 numbers, uh, running 5 hours per day, 10 watts load, 8 numbers, uh, it's running 8 hours per day, 100 watts load, 4 number, it's running 6 hours per day, 100 watts load, 2 numbers, it's running 4 hours per day, 50 watts load, 2 number, and it's running 12 hours per day. So all these loads running for the 100% of duty cycles. Um, so uh, if you, uh, we calculate the, this load for the days and then uh, weekly and monthly for the year. So we used to calculate for the entire year. So to run this load for the entire year, you need to generate uh, 2022 uh, watts. Uh, uh, 2022 units is required. It's not a watt, sorry. 2022 units is required for the entire year. So you could say it's monthly almost uh, 150, 150, something like that. Yeah, um, for these conditions, for these uh, loads. Yeah, if you generate, uh, yeah, if you are running this kind of, this many loads, you need to generate 2022 units for the entire year. So this reading, what we are, what we are saying, uh, this reading for not just matter of uh, next six months or one year, we are giving this reading for the next twenty year. Yeah, that's how it is. Yeah. Uh, so because we have considered all the weather conditions, we used to collect all the historic data, weather condition, everything. We used to see the panel specifications. We have considered the grade one panels, and then we have considered all the losses, deteriorating factors, dust, everything. Everything we have considered losses also we have considered on this panel. It means to say you don't have to clean the panel a day or weekly or something like that. You can do it once in a three or six months. That is more than sufficient. Yeah. <coughs> so um, to achieve this unit for the entire year, uh, you need to uh, go with uh, 2300 WP poly polycrystalline panel for that locations to achieve the uh, units. That's going to be sit only for the location. If you are changing the design, if you are shifting the same kind of design, same kind of panel to somewhere else, uh, there will be impact on the readings. Obviously, you will be losing the money. Uh, just the point here. Uh, so, if you have stored the energy, this many energies to the backup system for a day or two or five, whatever it is. So per day, if you are planning, then you can go ahead with the eight numbers of batteries to achieve the day autonomy. You can increase uh, by putting a number of batteries by putting a series and parallel to increase the number of days backup. Yeah, uh, when you select the batteries, uh, you have to see the DODs and then you have to see the cutoff level and the temperature correction. A lot of things you have to see. In India, I think people prefer to go with the tall tubular. You have to uh, select the solar type. Again, there are a lot of types over there. You have to be very careful before selecting that. Yeah, uh, I think uh, all the point has been covered here. Um, let me check if anything is pending uh, yeah yeah if you are generating for a certain uh, kind of years so if you are discharging more um, that will be impact on the batteries so you have to calculate from the generation to the discharge level that's how it's supposed to be yeah you have to calculate everything so see generally this panels will give you a performance for more it will give more performance on the summer it will give it will give uh, less performance on the rainy or other cloudy conditions so basically what we do is we used to calculate from the January to December we used to calculate for the entire year okay so entire year we used to calculate and we are giving the readings to you so that's the exact readings going to give to uh, for your locations for the application if you are using the certain panels for, for the particular locations so that's how it's supposed to be yeah I hope um, all the points have been covered here um, there are many people already got to install the systems uh, solar panels you are not sure how many readings you are going to get and all you have doubts probably you can put a mail to streetsolarlife.gmail.com and there are many people working the system you are not sure how many readings you are generating you have many concerns so to discuss the certain things too with the, your client probably you can approach to streetsolarlife.gmail.com so we are the team of experts who had many experience in the global projects and we are also getting to the many firms and many projects as well Thank you for watching this video. Thanks again. Bye.